My name is Brendan Ritchie, and I am doing a little something I'm calling AI Focus. While in town, that town being Orlando, Florida, for the IT Nation Connect Global Conference, I'm catching up with a whole bunch of industry experts to talk about all things AI. You're going to learn about the tools they use and the coolest things they've done with them and where they think this AI revolution is going. Let's jump into it. Okay, cool. Let's talk about AI, but let's start with uh, who you are and what you do. Okay, yeah, my name is uh, Herman Gonzalez. Uh, I'm one of the senior sales leaders at Huntress. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. And maybe we should do a quick little bit. Huntress is, is what for the uninitiated I know. Okay. Uh, but just pretend I don't. We're a fully managed cybersecurity platform. Okay. So we do fully managed EDR, identity protection, SIM, and security awareness training. Okay. All managed by our SOC. I still find the SIM thing weird because there's definitely an E in there. And I'm like, why is it SIM? I just, I can't get my head around SIM, it. you know, every... All right. Cool. Potato, potato. I seem to worry about very unimportant things. Uh, that's one of them. <laughs> anyway, okay, cool. So, uh, what is your favorite AI tool and what's the coolest thing you've done with it? Uh, I'm a big ChatGPT. I mean, I use Perplexity, ChatGPT, uh, Gemini. Oh, wow. So, I use a lot of them. Okay. Uh, and actually, most recently, I was able to generate like a small, like, custom GPT. Oh, yeah. Love that, that, in essence, takes our sales calls and is able to generate like sales specific notes from our transcripts. Oh yeah. So really it helped uh, not waste so much time for my sales reps. Okay. Because um, often my guys are, will be on a bunch of calls. Yeah. And the biggest hurdle they had was like putting what they have on the call to typing it on a sales force. Yeah. And but also, salespeople are shit at admin. Yes. If it's accurate, that's a miracle. And if it's there at all, it's even more surprising. Yes. Yeah. So the good news is, is that we were already recording all the calls. Sure. And we have access to the transcripts. Yep. So all I needed to do is just dump that into a custom good, GPT. Good outcomes, right? so. 100%. That's so good. No, you're good. You're good. No issue. It's good. It makes for a busy, you know, vibrant scene. And, uh, co and consequently, now I'm like the AI guy at, at Huntress. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Love that. Uh, okay. Out of interest, you mentioned three platforms there. What what role do you think each fulfills better than the other? Why, why not stick to one? Um, well... For starters, uh, we have a contract with Google, so Gemini is like our official okay. AI platform that we can use within Huntress. Okay, good stuff. Uh, okay. I learned on ChatGPT, so I have a kind of affinity for it. Yeah. And then I recently started using Perplexity just for like curated news stuff, okay. um, which I find is really beneficial because it's not like bias like one way or another it just yeah gives me what i'm interested in and it just summarizes all the are stuff are you using the pro version of ChatGPT as well yes okay yeah i think everyone is now right it's just so uh, for, the, for the cost there's so much you can do um, no question perplexity for me i didn't use it too much before ChatGPT 5 came out yeah prior to that totally get it the reference sort of you know sourcing uh, yeah, information yeah. made it very trustworthy ChatGPT 5 now i think is doing that pretty well yeah, they, do you yeah. think there's still a strong case for perplexity it, yeah so like the way i use perplexity now is is mostly as my news feed okay because okay. you could tell it kind of like your interests and it'll have like curated almost like channels like finance top stories, whatever, and it, it just curates it for you, and then it'll source all the areas where it got all that information, and it gives you a nice little uh, summary. Yeah, okay. And what I love on the mobile device is you can hit an audio version of it. Mm, yeah. So instead of me reading it, I can just put it in the car and just listen love to that. the news. That I got to say, uh, we uh, kind of all just in the company recently discovered the, the company my company, First Focus, yeah, uh, has uh, we've rolled out ChatGPT Pro to all of our stuff, and then connected it with you know Slack and uh, SharePoint yeah. and Teams and blah blah blah. Um, but we just realized that the exactly to your point, the audio function, that one button, you just sit in the car and on the way to a meeting, be like, tell me everything about this business I'm about yeah, to go see. What was your last acquisition? Why was why are they better the competition? You know, what are they publicly stated saying they care most about? Like yeah. all of this, it's just this this absolute PA function. And you have so much time in cars nowadays if you're dropping kids off at school like yeah. it's a great time to do that like i have a tesla and they've got the grok integration in into it i've got a tesla for work as well and i didn't even know that was a thing yeah tell me about that so all you got to do is just push and hold the like the uh assistant button okay yeah and now that's integrated into grok okay so is you're it real racist uh, <laughs> 
I haven't come across any okay. racist stuff yet. All right. It, it is a bit on the edgier side. I okay. will say that. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah. Racy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just remember that one time it was in I'm Big Hitler or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, was a, that was a weird weekend. It's, got, it's gotten weird. It <laughs> okay. gets weird. But the cool thing about it is it's just a button away. And sometimes I'll be in the car with my girls and they'll ask me, as kids do, random questions. And I'm like, I don't know, but let's find out. Yeah. We'll, we just have a conversation. Does the human head weigh four pounds? I don't know. Yeah, let's find out. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, kids are great. All right. So I think I've kind of touched here on what you would like about this period in history, like finger, uh, so world's information at your fingertips, yeah. ability to do so much, learn so much, and have it curated and trusted. Uh, what do you not like so much about this this period in time with, with AI being omnipresent? Um, I think right now the, the biggest thing is that we're all kind of just figuring it out. Mm. Like, there's so many different solutions. I just mentioned like four or five. Yeah. So there's a little bit of a barrier to entry there because there's too many options for people, I think. Like people are like, oh, what, what should I use and how should I use it? So there's that. But the other component of it is people seem to obviously feel like they can't trust AI or give it information that maybe it could be used against them or something yeah. like that. So That's a reasonable risk. I think also yeah, some yeah. other people like fully trusting it too much. Like here's yes. all my info and not even my info, the company's info. Correct. Yeah, which Correct. I guess you guys would have to deal with in a hell of a lot of ways, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah, we're very cautious on what we provide and all that kind yeah. of stuff. But, you know, I think overall, like the fears that everybody has are, are justifiable. Yeah. Um, I see it from a lens of, <laughs> I see it from a lens of obviously it helping with productivity and, helping us be more efficient. But in the same vein, if we're more efficient, then we need less people to do the same amount yeah. of work. Right? Yeah, so, and interesting with the chats today, you're my, I think, 12th uh, conversation. Very, very similar vibes. Everyone's just a bit, uh, yeah. sure, there's a lot of great stuff. Well, yeah, how soon are we gonna start to see maybe the impacts of this increased productivity? Right. Yeah. yeah. So that's why, I mean, I encourage folks, like, take it upon yourself. Like, if you are not digging into AI and figuring out how to prompt and there's a lot of cheap courses, even free stuff on YouTube. Get familiar with it, because I mean, at the end of the day, like I'm a firm believer that we will get replaced not by AI, but but people will know how to leverage AI. Yeah. So uh, it's good yeah. advice, man. I I was just speaking to another a lady who runs an MSP, and uh, her view and 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 our company's view is, is very similar. It's just absolutely what you said. It's on the individual to upskill themselves, yeah. keep relevant. The company can't be responsible for training you on everything. Correct. You need to be using it in your personal life. You need to get curious. And and yeah, just Correct. like if you went to university, you know, you wouldn't do that in company time. Correct. That's what you need to be doing in the, over the week and weekend. And it's all on our fingertips now. Like yeah. I mean, there's no excuse. Like, yeah. Do it. Yeah. Even the free versions are pretty damn good. Exactly. All right. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Awesome. I really enjoyed the chat. Thanks, yeah. man. I hope you enjoyed that conversation. If you want to see more just like that from this series, you can find them on our LinkedIn company page or on our company YouTube page. I also just want to say a big thank you to the team at ConnectWise and IT Nation for having us involved.